Welcome student. Today let's start with probability. Now before moving to probability, let's look at the meaning of few common terms. First is experiment. An experiment is basically a situation involving chance or probability that leads to the results called outcomes. For example, I have a spinner which is divided into four equal sections of different colors. That is yellow, blue, green and red. Now I spin the spinner. Spinning of this spinner is called the experiment. While landing on yellow, blue, green or red section is called the outcomes. Now after this we have event. Now event is one or more outcome of an experiment. To understand this let's consider an example where I toss two coins. Now tossing of two coins is simply an experiment. While the possible outcomes for this is head and head, head and tail, tail and head and finally tail and tail. Now getting one head and one tail on tossing of a coin is simply an event. So the possible outcomes for this event is head, tail and tail and head. Also getting heads on first coin is also an event. And outcomes for this event is head, 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 tail. Similarly getting at least one head on tossing of two coins is also an event. And the outcomes for this is head and head, head and tail, tail and head. Next we have heads on both the coins. This is also an event and possible outcomes for this event is head and head. Now let's move to probability. Probability simply means the chance of happening. Or we can define probability as the ratio of the number of ways the event may occur to the number of possible outcomes for that event. Or you can write down this as number of ways event A can occur over the total number of possible outcomes. Probability also means numerical measure of the chance that an event will occur. And always remember that probability lies between 0 and 1. When the probability of a certain event is 0, that means the occurrence of that event is simply impossible. While if the probability of certain event is 1, that means the occurrence of that event is certain. Now let's look at an example. We are rolling a die. Now what is the probability of getting a factor of 6 on rolling of this 6 sided die? Now let's see how to find the probability for this event. When we roll a die the possible number of outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and these are total 6 in number. And we also know that a factor of 6 is a whole number that divides evenly into 6. 1 times 6 is equals to 6. 2 times 3 is also equals to 6. So we can say that factors of number 6 are simply 1, 2, 3 and 6. And these are total 4 in number. So we can say that probability of getting a factor of 6 on rolling of a die is simply equals to 4 over 6. That is the total number of possible outcomes for the given event over the total possible outcomes. Now let's try one more question. It says that an urn contains 4 green marbles and 6 red marbles. Now what is the probability that a marble chosen from the urn will be green in color? Now since there are 4 green and 6 red marbles, so we can say that total number of outcomes is simply equals to 10. 
Now there are total four green marbles so that means favorable outcomes will be four. So probability that a marble chosen from the urn will be green in color is simply number of favorable outcomes over number of all possible outcomes. That is simply equals to 4 over 10. So we can say that probability for this event is simply 4 over 10. So I can also say that that if there are 3 pennies and 5 dimes in my pocket and I pull out one coin from it then probability that I get a dime coin is simply 5 chances out of total 8 chances because there are total 8 coins in my pocket and out of which 5 are dime coins. So with this general information we come to the end of this session. Goodbye and see you next time.